um, and you go straight to the dashboard, which makes it a lot easier to reach. Um, so you wouldn't have to exactly like click on the dashboard icon to, to use the calculator or whatever. Now, Steve Jobs was talking about uh, various uh, ways which you can kind of mate the iPad with a MacBook or a laptop. Uh, so it's interesting what he said. He said that vertical screens are very bad for um, touch screens because you would have to extend your arms out and kind of hold them in mid-air for hour after hour and it becomes very tiring. So obviously this is a bad uh, user, uh, a way to use computers. Um, so what he said is that he would like a horizontal surface to be a uh, touch uh, a touch screen. So based on this I have a feeling that we might see brand new MacBook Pros um, with a dual touch screen interface where it's kind of like a clamshell form factor which opens up uh, horizontally 180 degrees and you have two touch screens which you can then use um, and I believe that by the time these uh, computers come out um, we would have a Mac OS 10 or might be Mac OS 11 that is much more like iOS. So constantly I think Apple is going to concentrate on bringing technology from the iPad and putting it into powerful, more powerful computers. Um, which is something that I can see Apple doing. They always push the boundaries when it comes to design and uh, I think this would be a very good boundary to push but we'll just have to see. Now another major announcement that was made at the Back to the Mac event is new MacBook Airs. Now there'll be two MacBook Airs. One it will be a I think it's an 11.6 inch and the bigger one would be 13.3 inches. The, the new thing about these laptops is that they use flash storage so they use solid state drives and basically what they did to bring the thickness down was take the actual um, flash uh, chips and out of the hard drive and solder them directly onto the motherboard so um, that kind of makes it, uh, it, it uses less space um, and these MacBook Airs are going to have a high resolution screen it's going to be a higher pixel density than you find on present uh, on the older MacBook Pros um, 15 inch MacBook Pros which was like 1440 by 900 or something um, and the 13.3 inch MacBook Air is going to have that same resolution so that makes the pixel density higher which makes for a better viewing experience although as for the technology as for whether the screen is bright or whether it's going to pop out just like on the MacBook Pro we will have to see now Android Gingerbread has been almost announced, uh, Google has put up a gingerbread man on their lawn. So this is um, indicative of a new um, release of their OS coming out, of Android OS coming out very soon. So it was put right next to the Froyo um, sculpture that they have on their lawn. So basically what Google does is every time they release a major update uh, which has a name of a dessert, they put a sculpture of that dessert on their lawn. So now that the gingerbread man is up on the lawn, it means that we will see gingerbread coming out very shortly. So expect an announcement from Google any time now. Rumor has it that gingerbread will be given the 2.3 iteration number. That is because people are saying that honeycomb is going to be 3.0. So for now, it seems like gingerbread might be 2.3, which means the jump from 2.3 to 3.0, hopefully we can expect a lot of big improvements again when we go from gingerbread to honeycomb, but that's uh, a little bit more into the future. Rumor has it that gingerbread will have a simpler, easier to use UI with green highlights representing the color of the Android logo. It may also have built-in VoIP and video calling it will be better at gaming and also will be faster and it may also come with Google Music so these are all the rumors that are flying around of course nobody knows what is real and what is not we're going to have to wait and see but hopefully it shouldn't be too long as for Windows Phone 7 it has been announced and released in Australia um, it is available through Telstra right now um, the HTC Mozart is going for $49 on a 24 month contract and the Optimus 7Q is $129 on a 24 month contract so comparing the two phones side by side I think you'd be getting much better value from the HTC Mozart it has a high definition camera and it also has the same internal processor so um, you're just really 
uh, getting a better camera with the mode sight for a lot cheaper as well. So that's it for now, I'll see you in my next video update.